Welcome back, everyone. The most glamorous night in Hollywood. Did you hear that? The popping of the champagne already at the Oscars. So you know what? Why not make your viewing party at home just as fabulous? So this morning, I'm joined by etiquette expert Elaine Swan with ideas on how to host the ultimate Oscar viewing party. And let's just say the party has already it started. It has in already here. begun. We've got champagne, Mark, Brian. Let me take that. We had a champagne accident. Uh, sorry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Dan. You have to lick it up. Oh. <laughs> party, party foul there. And I probably yeah, should have said that in no, front no, of No, no, no. It didn't. It's fine. All We're right. fine. Okay, it's Elaine. Good. Let's get started. Okay. So the thing about it, if you're throwing the party, you want to make sure that you kind of set the scene. And by the way, you have, woo, you oh. have set the stage uh, so beautifully. Yeah, you really want to make it fun so yeah. that that way you can feel like you're viewing the Oscars in style. Okay. So that's a really great thing. And then the next thing you want to do is make sure that the setting and everything is set. So one of the things when you think about playing your music, choose some music from some of the films there that have go. maybe been chosen. Yeah, some of the hot soundtracks that are out there and that are available. And then have drinks available when your guests arrive. Okay. Now, what is this? This is called the, uh, the Silver Screen Punch. And I got this recipe off of um, Oscar.org. And okay. it's so great. And the, the great thing is I put it here in this Casa Moda. Very good. Thank you kindly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, 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 a beverage jar by Casa Moda, but it's great. When people arrive, you want to already have something ready and waiting for them. Right. Yeah, so that way they just kind of, yeah, signature drink. And so this, this is great. And part of the ingredients is Moet. And Moet is the exclusive champagne for the Oscars. Ooh la la. So, yeah, if you want to make sure that you're doing that. Now, you want to think about kind of what to pour. Mm -hmm. And the celebrities are going to be sipping on a drink that was made by Adam Seeger. And it includes this hum, which is really, really great. And I'm not making it correctly, but it's nice and, and pretty. Okay. But um, if you follow the directions that are that uh, that are there, you would just strain it into a glass with half uh, ha with with a little bit of ice. Add a little bit of the moet. Ooh. And I think we have and a full the recipe. Screen too. Yeah, we if do you're have the full screen. And you want to check it out? Let's throw up yeah. that full screen if we can, just so maybe you can write down that recipe yeah, and, and stuff. It, I mean, and it's so great. And then add, strain it through, add a little ice, and it's so great. And this is what the celebs will be drinking at the governor's yeah, ball afterwards. So mm. if you want to have a little bit of taste, and then Ooh. you just garnish it with a rose there. Oh, and yes. it has that appeal yeah. too. Yeah, it's very rich. Exactly, and that's really neat because Adam Seeger he won the contest. He entered this recipe, won the contest, and they're going to be serving it, and the celebs are going to be drinking. Okay. It. Okay, great. There you go. Okay, and so then what to serve? The thing is, when you, whenever you set out your buffet, you want to start out with your plates. And I've got, my, my, I love Mikasa, and so these are my plates. And it might be a good excuse to pull out, the, you know, the wedding china you that you got. You know what? This is the thing. I say use your good stuff all year long. This is the time to bring it up. Don't just wait for Christmas and yeah. Thanksgiving, but all year long. So great, uh, the, this is love story. That's the... How, how fitting is it with all of the stories with Oscar, right? That's their design. And then think about foods that are fun to eat because people are going to be eating in front of the television. And I like this because this was so simple. I saw you do it. Yes. Popcorn, exactly. microwave it. Microwave popcorn, yeah. And you can use the kettle corn. You add chili. Um, you can add a little bit of uh, orange zest on, on top Ooh. of it as well and make it fun. And this recipe is on Oscar.org as okay, well. Okay, and we're out of time. But And finally, what do we have oh, here? Oh, you can have, what my thing is to have fun. That's the thing about it. So what I've got here is is you can create some Oscar ballots for people. Oh, I love it. Uh-huh. When they arrive, get their ballots, put, put it in the uh, the jar here. Uh-huh. Get everyone and involved. And have everyone, you know, kind of correct someone else's and see who got the most done. So it's great. And on that note, that's perfect. Thank yeah. you so much. And these are really simple, easy simple, ideas easy for things. you to do at home. Yeah, Elaine, having great having you on the show Thank as you always. So much. For more party ideas from Elaine, you can just go to our website, cbsa.com. Click on the hot button. And I understand we might have that champagne recipe on there because let's be frank. Uh -huh. <laughs> we need that. Yeah, we want to do with the celebs. Yeah. Again. And we will be right back.